Hi, I'm Wally. And I'm Dave. Today we are going, I mean, we have a little mock-up here. Right. Kind of a presentation, which you might see on the roof. Mm -hmm. We've talked about PVC. We have, when, we're, when we have anything asphalt on the roof, we have to divorce those two, correct? Correct. Because what can happen if PVC comes in direct contact with anything asphalted? It tends to pull the plasticizers out of the and it PVC can also sheet. what'll happen over time what are you going to see through that nice white flashing yeah, yeah you'll see bleed, bleed through. through so what we've done here there's a couple ways to do this well we have a granulated mod bit flashing yep correct right and we also Air, have a mod bit mod bit system well, yeah. yeah all right so what we're doing is we're divorcing the mod bit with the insulation but on the walls we're using a separator sheet a three ounce poly mat we've done the walls first Brought it, down, brought it down, and then we've taken our insulation up against it. Now we have a can strip in there, right. and so we beveled the insulation so we can get it up there nice and tight. tight. Yeah. So however, this insulation it could be low-rise foam, it could be mechanically attached, yeah. it could be whatever. This is going to anchor, that's going to help hold the base of this poly mat in. Correct. Now, once I go to flash these walls, can I glue to that? No. No. So you're going to have to loose lay the walls on a, in a typical insulation, like, unless you want to come in and tear all the flashings off or bury the flashing. What happens if the guy says, well, I'm just going to turn the flashings off and go right, you still got asphalt, right? Yeah, you've got the residue from the asphalt that's been how old there. it is. Yeah, it yeah. could be, it even could be hot mop. Right, hot mop, then you, then you got a whole lot of work. Then you got a whole then lot you might of have to resheat the walls. So that's another option, that's an option. Right. right. Let's say I'm doing a re-roof situation. The existing roof's going to stay there. I've got a mod bit roof or a granulated roof, asphaltic roof. We really don't need to add any insulation. Okay. Can I take my PVC and just lay directly to that? and do the same thing, just run this up the wall. Do I need anything to separate the base of this from the PVC? So you're saying smooth back PVC directly, directly over? To this. No, because well, it's asphalt and it's also granulated. You take the poly mat, how wide does it come? 10 foot? 10 foot by 500 and by some feet. 500 90. feet, so you would lay, this. if this entire roof was a modified roof or a granulated roof, we would lay the poly mat on the flat and up the roof, up the flashings in one shot, and then we could go directly to that, right? Yeah. Or what is the other option to eliminate when you go the fleece back? The other thing with fleece back is you're making one sheet cut. You're not loading multiple sheets. You're not loading the smooth and the poly. Yes, because now you got to cut it. Yeah, well, you've got a unit, you got to cut around both of them. So let me sheets. ask you this. Could I take fleece back and go up the wall and onto the deck? Not in one piece. No. You'd have to have a separate... And if you piece. cut your fleece, you got to make sure you have that salvage edge, which ever goes on the flat. Right. Again, there's just another option for contractors to install a PVC membrane, correct? Yes. Anyway, stay tuned for our next episode in our PVC series.